Tonight, the I-Team uncovers transit authority workers using their uniforms to break parking rules. One resident who relies on close parking says CTA workers are taking up precious spots in front of her home. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles has the latest for us. Jason. Cheryl, it's usually a neon vest or a hat displayed in a vehicle. Critics say it's used by some CTA employees as a parking perk. The I-Team first told you about the issue in December. Now a new area in question. I suffer from multiple sclerosis and I also have an autistic daughter and I, there have been times when I've had to park two blocks away from my home in the winter. Tiffany Alexander Jones says when she sees CTA workers without a residential permit park in front of her home. It makes me feel as though I don't matter. I pay to park here and in addition I have handicap parking but that hasn't made a difference. Alexander Jones says that disabled parking spot and the other residential permit spots get taken regularly by vehicles without a permit. She says some are CTA workers placing their vests or hats in the cars. Here's a CTA hat. The I-Team spotted residential permit violators on our two recent visits near the 95th Street Red Line Station. We have a CTA vest right on the front dashboard of this car. It also looks like they have a ticket. Well, it's actually not a ticket. It's just an envelope for a ticket. We also saw cars with vests on the opposite side of the road. However, a city of Chicago spokesperson says a permit is not needed there. The CTA says it does not condone its employees or contractors disobeying any parking regulations, nor do we allow the placement of a CTA vest in a vehicle window to circumvent parking restrictions. A spokesperson went on to say that the 95th station renovation project is creating parking challenges and that the CTA is now meeting with the contractors to emphasize the importance of following all parking rules and will monitor the parking restrictions to make sure all workers are complying. CTA should build a parking lot if they have this many employees who need parking. The I-Team also found dozens of CTA workers using vests to get free parking in bus lanes in December at the Blue Line Cumberland stop. The CTA said it did not condone the behavior and that it was working to find employees free parking. We recently went back and not a single car was parked in those bus lanes. The city's Department of Finance says the parking code is enforced with or without vests and that vests only offer special parking privileges if there is a clear emergency. If CTA workers are taking up spots in your neighborhood, you can call 311. You can also email me directly through my ABC7 Facebook page. We all know how precious parking mm -hmm. is in Chicago. Yeah, especially yeah. when you have handicap or disabled Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's and then they use us. the fake parking ticket ruse. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was something. That is something. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.